Hey guys, Scott from Aristocop.com here, and Seth from the internet. Together, the three of us, and I'm assuming you, are also sweaty. Welcome to summer. <laughs> oh, it is really ridiculously hot. The I'm three looking... of us are what? A sweaty. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, the three of us from Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Welcome back once Good again. Morning. Good morning, boy. Good morning, Homer. It is sweaty. I'm, I'm here in my shop. We just opened some windows up, so the temperature has now dropped to 80. It was 85 degrees earlier. And uh, I've been trying to get some cleanup done, and uh, that didn't help me get any cooler. It's humid. <laughs> it's humid. I just walked in the door, and I'm already just look like I've taken a shower recently. What did you do before you got here? Took a shower. That's what I thought. But, <laughs> but I don't think that this is water. Yeah. So uh, anyway, we'll look. We'll stop being whiny about this is just the way it is here in the shop we want to hear how hot it is where you are do we yep okay leave a comment how hot are you <laughs> so what are we gonna do today boy uh celebrate celebrate so last week's video um was supposed to be posted the week before and that didn't happen because i got busy having a baby so we talked about the baby um i did post a video introducing him to you guys uh, he was born um, June just, 2nd. Yep. Yeah. Um, two weeks ago, and uh, he's awesome. He's growing well, feeding well. He's, you know, doesn't do much, sleeps and eats and poops I, I have and to, sleeps. I, have and to, I, was, I was surprised last night. We, we wound up running into each other at dinner last night, mm -hmm. didn't expect each other. And he was asleep. This is uh, Augie Digger. Was nope. A, was asleep. Augie Lawrence Markwood Digger. Nope. He was asleep in his little carrier, and then all of a sudden, I see that him kind of jerking awake, and the arms went out like that. And it's like, I don't know why I didn't expect to see that much movement. He's he is a, mobile. In a little squirt. He is. He is already. I mean, when we were still in the hospital, he was lifting his head, and normally babies don't have that kind of strength at all. That's wild. Yeah. To 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 he would pull back and you'd be holding him. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's incredible. So, you know, traditional celebratory fashion for having a baby. We are foregoing the pipes this week and we are enjoying some cigars. I'm not yet. We're not. Well, I'm bound, bound to be. What do you got? Or, I don't know. What do I have? I got a five Vegas gold. <laughs> no, you don't. Well, it's what it says. It, but where those were made, would they say five? It says five. Cinco Vegas. Cinco. A Cinco Vegas gold. It'd still be a five. That one's, give that one to me. That one's going to I don't know. Where is this made? It's, uh, I don't know. That's probably Nicaraguan. Oh, you don't know. That's, that's, it's probably Nicaraguan or, no, you know what? That might be so, Dominican. That one might be Dominican. Handmade in Canada. Oh, you so, so full of crap. So I think they used five up there, the, the royal five. You know what? I can't even make that out. See? So it actually doesn't say where it's from. Yeah, I think it does. I think it's up no, here. That says handmade. That's what that what says. What does that say? That says uh, since nineteen, <laughs> since eighteen ninety, limited release, established limited release eighteen ninety, imported established limited release eighteen ninety, handmade five Vegas, Cinco Vegas, aged five years, gold. It says. All right, that one's mine because it says it's... Jr. Cigars. No, it does not say no, Jr. Does it not? This one's mine. No, I'm sure it's I got cigar. it. Cigar.com. I probably got it from Cigar.com or Cigars International. It says, it says I came with 10 other cigars in a, a free humidor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think this was a five-pack. I am a sucker for the five-packs from Woot. And, and how often do I smoke them? About as often Never. as this one gets me grandkids. <coughs> That's so Never. funny. And, and, and did I buy any this past week? Yeah, I did. I bought a five-pack. <laughs> Wait a second, though. It was, it was five dollars plus shipping. So with shipping, it came out to less than eight bucks for a five pack of some decent looking cigars. I can't help myself. Do we have, uh, a, look, do we I, have a cutter? I buy all sorts of decent looking things that I don't ever use. Uh, uh, speaking of cigars in Germany, Russia. <laughs> Probably Russia. You're just. I've got a Gurkha. Gurkha Centurion um, Double Perfecto. Is what you got there? Mm, you know which way, to, which end goes in your face going hole to make me sick. Yeah. Mm. This one does smell good though. Can't even cut that. Give that one. Give that one a smell. It does. Yeah. Give it a little, little bit of a cut on that end. Speaking of circumcision, 
<laughs> I got to be there for my sons. Did you really? I did, yeah. Um, and I had to get special permission from the doctor. Uh, I was in the room when Ender had his. Um, and uh, back then, three years ago, they said it was uncommon. They don't typically allow the fathers back anymore. Um, even though I think it used to be a fairly common practice. Um, but they said that they have had too many fathers faint. Um, <laughs> and they got tired of dealing with that. Well, the doctor this time, he has a no father policy. Because he's had to deal with too much fainting. and uh, But I, I told the nurse, I said, well, I, was, I did fine for Ender. I, I was there for, for my son. My wife has just had a C-section. And you were standing right there. I was there for the whole your, C-section. With your pro they told me They told me beforehand, they said, if you want to take some pictures, you can. I said, well, okay. So I just grabbed my, my faux pro, GoPro, out of my bag and uh, strapped it to, they had me in a smock. Strapped it to the smock. And recorded the entire C-section. Um, and it was cool. Unlike last time. Last time they pulled the baby out. Allison was having some problems regulating her blood pressure. Yeah, they didn't know C-section last time though. They did a C-section last time. I, really? That was on C-section? Yeah. Why do I not remember that? I don't know. She was in labor for about 13 hours before they decided to go ahead and do the C-section. Because mm. he just wouldn't come out. So they did a C-section. But they because she had been in labor for so long, they had a hard time regulating her blood pressure. And so they... Um, they... Pulled Ender out and kind of ushered me and him out of the, the OR immediately. This time, because she didn't go through labor at all, it was a planned, scheduled C-section, she was able to uh, be regulated pretty well. And so they, they pulled Augie out and wrapped him, and I got to be there for that part. And then, you know, I got to hold him with her there while they're still s- stitching her up and doing all their other surgery stuff. All right. Sorry if you didn't intend to go down this road, but... C sections do they do they cut open the abdomen and pull out no. the entire placenta or do they cut through the uterus the placenta and go straight to baby? So I've heard that there are different ways that they do it. I've heard that that some methods and I'm imagining more like emergency methods they'll actually pull some stuff out, some guts and things out before getting to the baby. On hers they were able to cut Kind of at the bottom of the the belly, um, cut a, a horizontal line and go straight in and pull him directly out. So nothing had come out. He was the first thing to come out. Okay. Um, and his head, they get his head out and let him sit there. Kind of he cries a little bit. They use the nose suckers and clean him up just a little bit. His head. So It'd he's be getting a, a nasal aspirator. That's right. So he's or getting an nasal aspirator. So he's getting some air. Um. And then they, they pulled him out. Um, they had to cut the cord. So I didn't get that experience. Um, and then they, they started cleaning him up. And so they, you, they and do you were everything willing else. to whip your... your oh, man. My, yeah, my uh, your favorite knife is of the day. That's right. Your uh, everyday care. And then is the placenta delivered out through the same incision? Yeah. Okay. Let's... Yeah, so, so that does a couple of things. Um has a couple of negative consequences, negative effects. Uh, the in being squeezed through um, the normal exit, uh, it squeezes. Maybe a some vaginal the, delivery too. It squeezes for the, for the adults that are watching. I'm, I'm just wondering if you lit the correct end on that. <laughs> I did. Let's see. Yeah, you did. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, and uh, in being squeezed out, it helps to get some of the, the fluid out of their lungs, out of their chest. Um, and so C-section babies don't have that opportunity. So there was about 24 hours of coughing and hacking and getting stuff out. It's constantly kind of bubbling stuff out as it's being removed from his body. The other thing is, her body is going to heal differently. Sure, it would because not only from the surgery, but but part of the you know a female's body being built to deliver a baby that starts actually starts the healing process. Having contractions and and going through that helps the body get back to its normal form. The other thing that's weird is breastfeeding also helps. Yeah. Um, when when breastfeeding, your, the body has contractions. 
Right. And so that also helps kind of get everything back to normal. Wow. It is. We, we are uh, wonderfully made. There's no question about that. Pretty wild. So uh, we're, we're celebrating with this, and it's been now two weeks. What are you doing? I was also celebrating with some bourbon. Seriously? Yeah, would you like some bourbon? I don't drink. No, thank you. <laughs> I've got some uh, Coke Zero over here that will suit me just fine. Really we're, celebrating. We're drinking bourbon this morning. Well, it's not, it's not, morning, it's not morning when you don't ever get to sleep. <laughs> when, you, when you don't get to sleep, it's always morning and it's always nighttime. This is some Evan Williams single barrel. So I, I guess you've resigned to never being a Southern Baptist pastor. Is that it? Well, no, we're we're still good. <laughs> Are we? Yeah, I just choose not to do it in the closet, <laughs> like <laughs> most of the other ones, just in the shop. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so what else were we going to talk about this morning? Oh, there's several things I'd love to talk about, but I think we're, we're going to record a couple videos because not unlike the norm for, for me, I've got a bunch of travel coming I, up here. I was going to mention, um, I was going to mention the, the faux pro. Yeah. I told you guys about it <clears throat> and told you that I would get some video up. Yeah. I recorded some video, recorded video in the hospital. I won't upload that. I won't attach that to this episode, but um, I took it to the swimming pool and uh, got some <coughs> got some awesome footage uh, swimming around. It came with a waterproof case, um, and it, it, I was really impressed with the quality, the video quality underwater. Um, so got video of, of Ender jumping into the pool and swimming around. I've just I've been really really impressed with the video the, the quality of it for a hundred dollar. You know, and I camera. I used it I used it just a little bit while I was trying to record my two by four contest entry that I uploaded to the um, Mr. Tool Hunter channel a couple weeks back in the uh, competition that I entered. Which by the way I didn't even place, and uh, that doesn't bother me because as I looked at the entries, I picked several of them that should have been above me, and uh, most of them, in fact, did place. I was a little surprised at being the ver the third time that they've held this event that the the whole announcement and drawing for prizes and things was so awkward and unorganized. It was required that we be there live for a, uh, a YouTube Webinar. live cast thing, and it ran three hours. Oh, my gosh. It was, really? Uh, yes. that They've got to work on that. He watched an hour of it at my house. It, it Yeah. Well, and the, the issue was you had to be present to win. And so they gave everybody 10 minutes to chime in. They drew five. a name. They had five minutes to chime in, and there's they, a delay from the time they right. announced the, okay, after the top winners were chosen, they then had a bunch of prizes, probably like 30 prizes, and they drew the names for that. And then what they did was they didn't say, okay, now we're drawing for the fast cap gift card. No, they drew right. a name, and then if that person chimed in, they could say which of the prizes they wanted to win. So they had to wait. So there was a delay, and then when the people would, would type in in the chat, there would be, you know, this whole thing. Okay, he would like the, you know, Steve said he wants the, the general finishes finishes. Okay, so the next name, and then someone would say, well, wait a second, wait a second. Steve is out of the country, out of the U.S., and that prize can't be shipped out of the U.S. Oh, Steve, all right, we'll wait for you to go ahead and make your next pick. And you couldn't see what things had been chosen, what mm. things hadn't been chosen, so things were getting chosen twice. And uh, man, I would so do it differently myself. But yeah. hey, it's not it's not my competition. But if I ever hold a competition that's similar to that, it would be done quite a bit differently. So, hey, and if the host of that watches this channel, which he doesn't, uh, 
get in touch with me. We'll talk about how you can make it more better. That thing should have been half an hour. Absolutely. Should not have been three hours. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, and you know, the other problem with live cast is they didn't have any video set up, which they could have done. They could have had uh, two users, one with the video. No, they did. But did they? I they didn't did. see any. But even that, yeah, they did. Uh, the host of the event's name is Brian, and, and that, again, was some of the challenges is that he was going back and forth from his camera to he was using a random generator, which also was not great. Right. Um, and he did have a spreadsheet that I couldn't read because I was on my phone that was supposed to tell you what items were available, but that the items were in a spreadsheet that were longer than the screen view. Oh. So, again, we couldn't manipulate that. Right. We couldn't see it. Then there were other guys. The, some of the top prize sponsors were there and got to pick some of the winners. And so the camera was kind of going back and forth between some of them. The majority right. of what I saw, and, and this was at the point that they were trying to find the random prizes. Random number generator? Or? Yeah. The majority of what I saw, because they had chat open, but the chat was only being managed by the host. Right. And it was being managed through the YouTube event right. page. He kept opening the tab on his browser, which was showing the video that he was recording. And so you, you ended up... All you saw was chat window that you can't see on the mobile device. We had it streamed up to my big screen TV. You still couldn't read what it said. And so unless you're sitting well, at your computer for at the chat. five minutes we did that, and you guys got so annoyed that that went away. So as long as it felt a lot longer than that. But, you know, when you haven't slept, everything feels like a long time. Um, the uh, You couldn't see the chat, and then you couldn't interact with the chat on the mobile. And... It, it, it just he kept going back to that and it kept being the mirrored thing oh where that's right video mir- within a video within a video because he's watching it was it yeah was, it was bad he was watching the delayed broadcast that still showed the image on the screen and then he was getting right an image and as he's watching the video it's showing the, the bigger screen yeah it, it was just, kind of that that was funny it was not funny but the point of all that was i had borrowed boys faux pro and the one thing i really liked about it i liked the the app that i had on my ipad so i could see how the how the image was going to be recorded and uh, but then i had problems in that i was not properly I, i wasn't hitting the record button consistently and there was a little bit of a setup because i was doing a time lapse as opposed to shooting video i was doing a time lapse thing so that required a setup in the menu and then basically a confirmation right. button and then a record button. And I, I missed some really important steps. So I ended up having to make every single part all over again from a new 2x4 that I was not happy with. Again, it, that was part of the part of the challenge is you got to work with some pretty crappy yeah. construction lumber. So I wasn't upset about that, but I had found the perfect 2x4. I mean, it was gorgeous. And that ultimately didn't get used in my project because you lost the footage. I lost the footage. But in the middle of my video, if you watch it, there's a moment where I'm on the router table cutting dovetails on legs and on the spindle. And that that section was from his faux pro. There, there are some quirks that I found out about it. Um, it stopped recording periodically. Um, it has a Wi-Fi feature so that you can connect it to... You, you don't connect it to the Wi-Fi internet. It emits a Wi-Fi signal, and you can connect directly to that from your iPhone or iPad. So it's basically Bluetooth, but they're using Wi-Fi instead. And the quirk is if you select, if you're in the middle of a recording and you hit the button to turn the Wi-Fi on, it stops the recording. And so I ran into that problem a couple of times where I thought that I was recording something, looked down, and totally missed it. Right. And so I was... But that all happened, thankfully, before the surgery and before the post. You know, I, I got to record video of us of us carrying the baby out and meeting the family and seeing their reaction to the name because they didn't know the name, seeing their, their first reaction. I got to see, you know, measuring him and all of this stuff. I was able to get catch on film. and uh, But because I discovered this quirk, because it kept shutting off, I became very paranoid about, mm-hmm. about that. Um, yeah. So, and the other thing for me is it was showing a half battery life and kept shutting off. I'm assuming from a dead battery. So, hmm. you know that. But again, All right, those so are things that I can manage for 
Yeah, so in, a fifth the price. For, I'm gonna say so. In in the end, are you are you still pleased with the purchase? Oh yes. And what yeah. footage it captures? Is oh yeah, is it good? It's very high quality. And yeah. yeah, I'm I'm thinking for my part, it's mostly user error, mm -hmm. and I have to learn it. But I'm gonna get one of those. I thought it was great, but I'm thinking that for the most part, especially if I'm doing something in the shop that I mean need, need to record, I'll have that as my backup. All right, because I was using just the one camera, right. and as a result, I didn't have a backup. So. And if you do get one, one thing that I found to be really useful, it's got a, a case that doesn't, so it has it has two cases. One totally en encapsulates it, and that's clear, the hard, clear plastic, clear plastic right. hard protective case. And there's another one that's just like a grip, but just like a, a phone mount. Um, mm -hmm. So everything's wide open. What I found, because the battery life is about 40 minutes, and, and with a bigger SD card, I think mine's 32 gigs, um, you can... You can record about four hours of video. Um, so instead of having to worry about the battery dying, if I just want to set it in a corner and leave it, I found that my external battery pack, my USB battery pack that I have so for charging back, my backup, phones, right. my backup battery, um, well, the one the one that I use. Yeah, you sure. Yeah, I've, I've shown. Um, I just plug that into that so it's getting a constant charge. Right. And because that's a, that's, Instead of plugging it into a wall, I can still take that so with me. So you could you could use up the whole SD card, is what you're saying. Right. If the you full, had, the if whole you had full the four hours, not have to worry about the battery. Um, so I've done that when we've gone to the park. I've just set it set it up on a, a picnic table, plug that in, and just set it and forget it, so that I'm able to record. Two By or the three way, hours. what's what's happening back over here? Uh, I briar rigged a quick little black garbage bag cover for this window since we're getting so much glare, and not only did that not work, that garbage bag is flipping and flopping around so anyway yeah i was pleased with it too and uh, i'm gonna get one and with that we're, i think we're gonna try to shorten these a little bit uh for your benefit as well as ours so why don't we wrap this up and i've got some things to talk about so we'll we'll continue to record which you'll see next week right here on mark Woodman's reckless club in uh in honor of the number five adios Make it a great week, guys. Bye.